Ah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Caleb. Today I will teach you tutorial. Um, I'm gonna show you how to take a drawing or like clip art or whatever you got. And sh okay, so you want to get if you have a drawing, you're gonna want to scan it so you can have it on your computer or whatever. Um, I'm gonna use this little mouse. So open up Illustrator file open and then open up your image so boom here we are um, make it bigger you can whatever I'm going to um, there you go you're gonna wanna have your layers opened up over here which is this little guy um, and click in this top right box and go to new layer and name this one strokes and click OK um, over here you're gonna wanna switch these so you have a, a white outline and no fill and I'm actually going to make that outline like red or something. Um, there you go. So go ahead and zoom in. And you're going to want to grab your pen tool. And you're going to want to try to click on the inside of these lines. Now you don't have to make them curvy or bendy or anything. We're going to come back and fix that in a second. But just try to get this in somewhat the middle of your outline of your image or drawing and or painting and or whatever the heck you have. So, while I do that, you can sing a song or do something. Um, <laughs> I don't have any jokes. Yes, Macbird would help it for us. Three tomatoes were walking down the street. A papa ta tomato, a mama tomato, and a baby tomato. The baby tomato was going slow, and this was making the papa tomato mad, so he stomped on him and said, catch up. Mm. <laughs> nice. Bye, Macberg. Okay, um, I'm not going to do all this, but I'm just going to show you what would happen if you did. So, once you have all of this outlined, um, you're going to want to go over to your stroke right here, and it's not going to do anything. Um, make sure you have your stuff selected and then kick your stroke up. So that's going to be like your outline. That's your actual your actual stroke. But you see kind of how we're off a little bit. Um, you can grab your selection tool here and move your path line as well. Or you can hold down on the pin tool and go to convert anchor point tool. And I'm actually going to change this color because the anchor, anchor points show up red. So they're kind of hard to see. There we go. So you can move this. And this will actually bend it. So you see how we have these like or a little uh, liney, I don't even know what to say. Um, but this will bend those points for you so you don't have such a straight. You know. But pretty much you'd go all the way around this and make your outline and then you would have your mouse and or drawing and or whatever you want.